Welcome Jay, to the VIP section. Jay, baby, y'all. It is Tuesday. Jay, it is Tuesday morning, 9 a.m. What's good, Tone? Jay, baby, Early morning. Y'all. Early morning. Welcome to get you, have you back, Tone. It was a, you know, I missed you this weekend. Had some good interviews. Had All Ball TV pull yeah, up. Yeah, I seen it. Did you see that? Yeah, it's crazy. went off, my nigga. So you in it. And if you didn't see the show, we did an hour, maybe in 20 minutes, I think. We went in, my dude. I ain't going to lie. We went to work on that sports beat. Because, you know, we talk this hip-hop every morning. You know, we rarely ever had the, the sports. You know what I mean? Shape so we definitely went to work. There's a lot, a lot, a lot of shit for the reals on that episode yesterday morning. That was definitely crazy. Shout out to All Ball TV. That's my dude right there. Then we had David St. John. David St. John. And there's an ending part to it, too. It's David St. John Dick DePaul. Not sure. But he changed his name to only Ken, to David St. John. If you saw that interview. He's out of contract. Yeah, if you saw that interview, Tone, he was going in and speaking a lot of the shit that you're talking about, saying that the world's going to end. This was an interview that you needed to be there, Tone. This was crazy. Even him and Paulie got into a little something. He was like, yo, he's like, yo, you guys are moving around too much for me. I need y'all to focus and listen to what I'm saying. You know what I mean? It was crazy, the interview. It's hard to talk that that conscious conspiracy shit to ADHD niggas. It is. <laughs> it is. Who, me and Paulie? Yo. He's like, yo. <laughs> no, but so, nah, he was trying to get it in, but, you know, it was all love. Because, you know, me and, you know, David St. John, we know we go way back. That's my guy. You know what I mean? Yeah, and he also started talking. He even got into Guaczilla. With the get that paper. We were talking that Swiss beat shit that um all of that that night. Crazy. You know what I mean? He was saying that did you know Guap was gonna get signed to Terror Squad in um 2000? No. I didn't know that neither. They were saying he was supposed to be the next big pun. They saying he was crazy. I can't lie. Guap was real, I'm told. Who was who was Guap saying this or somebody else was saying this? David St. John. Oh, okay, okay, okay. He's his producer. He been producing for Guap since he was 14, he said. Yeah. Nigga said he started making beats at 14 on the computer tone. When did the laptops and all that start coming out with the um niggas making beats and all that on the laptops and everything? Sure, I was in LA niggas making beats on the PlayStation back in 06, 05. Oh, word? Word. Oh, okay. So so you see exactly what they saying. Yeah, no, nah, you just it's easy. That computer world has been here. That's crazy. That's crazy. Yeah, shout out to David St. John, man. He's a good money, good money. And you know what? He's got to come back, too, because our interview actually went for like an hour and a half. He did a little boozy. We went for a long time. We didn't even talk about no music. Oh, he was that conspiracy out, and he got an EP dropping in the next month or so. You know what I mean? He went like that, Tone Kanye West style. Drink Champs was that night. Niggas was drunk and all that, Tone. For real, taking shots and everything. That's crazy. Yeah. And he brought his man through. His man was from Mount Vernon. He was in the back blowing the gas. What's his name? Um, I forgot his name, though. He's my first time uh, meeting him. He was he, He's actually St. John's manager. But he was a good vibe. He had the gas and everything. He was chilling. He didn't want to be on camera. He was on some tone shit. He was on some VIP shit. He didn't want to be on camera. You know what I mean? He was in the cut. He said that, that, that uh, he can't be seen like that. You feel me? A lot of people are like that. I'm starting to notice that tone. Why? It's the exact opposite of what you feel. You want to be seen. <laughs> I feel you. I feel you. That's a fact. 100%. I definitely want to be seen. And we are here. And we are here this morning with some crazy news. We ain't got no sauce tone. Being on the road and everything. We ain't seen nothing out there in the streets. And you saw that was nasty work. Oh, I wanted to talk about Kai Kai Kayan. Kai, Kai, that's his name, right? Cot Canan. Cot Canan. What the? F- what was that, Tone? I know you did research on that. None. He just showed his power. He did, bro. He said he's giving away 20 PlayStations and 20,000 people showed up. And there was nasty work out there, right? Yeah. So what happens to him from there? Does he go to jail? I mean, they, 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 they tried to do, they did lock him up, right? Nah, he's just, yo, listen. You show power like that, them companies is coming. That's a fact. That's a fact. So, yeah, that's true, Tone. 
You don't think PlayStation wants to give him a lot of money right now? Because he could just say the new PlayStation 5 is coming out. PlayStation don't need cockney. Okay, but what, what company do you think is looking into him right now? Any, anybody on the, that wants to come up. Yeah. Uh, the, 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 the. What we got in store, would you get, would you put the bag into him and sit down with him? Of course. Yeah. Yeah, so, you know what I'm saying? You you would put the bag into him? Yeah, of course. Everybody that showed up will buy whatever he say to buy. That's a fact. That's just in New York. And he could probably do okay, that in so, every other state. Our man Hakeem, would you do that situation with him? No. You don't think? You, you, maybe, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Like, go to the crib. You know how him and Lil Baby were sitting there, all the acts, Cardi B. Yeah, Cardi B up there too with him, too. Where are Cardi B up? Yeah, I can't. What do you mean? At his, at his place? And Ice Spice. Yeah, he got a good platform. Yeah, he got a good platform. I, I don't know what what is he on? Said. TikTok with it? Nah, he's on Everything. Twitch. 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 He's like their main dude, right? Yeah. So why was people saying he was like a, um, what was that shit they were saying? That, remember they were saying like he, he was like a fake act that they made win so Twitch could blow up? Yeah. Every platform has their, the nigga that, it's like the carrot in front of the horse. It's like that's what I mean. Yeah, that was him, right? It's like come to this platform and you could become the next Kai Kinnett. Yeah, because I'm just trying to figure out how is he getting that much money? Because I can't lie, he's throwing money around to the artists. He was doing his thing on YouTube prior. Uh, what's you call it? Uh, Twitch came to him and said, "Yo, we want you to do that on our platform," and gave him some bread. Uh huh. Now he's the, no one else is even remotely close to him on Twitch with subscribers. That's crazy. Yeah. So, how you pronounce his name? Kai Kinnant. Kinnant. So, yeah. So, shout out to Kai Kinnant. I mean, I can't lie. He definitely showed his power. I mean, you know, saying you're going to give away 20. Well, I'm been thinking about it, though. That's not really hard to do with the fan base that he has, though, Tone, because all those niggas wanted that 20, that PS5. That's $1,000 easy for them. They're going to bump that easy. They all... you going out there, they try to win a play. PS5? Hell no. Yes. Yeah, so we got one right here. He was only giving out 20. There was 20,000 people. So it was like less than 1% chance he was getting one. That's crazy. Everybody else just wanted to be in the hoo-ha. That's crazy. So, so, um, I wanted to talk to you about, I saw this last night. I wanted to talk to you about this. What you think about um Travis Scott bringing out your man Kanye West? He's different. He's nasty work. Different. Nigga came out and performed barefooted. No shoes on, no nothing. <laughs> out in Rome. What's his name? That's uh, Travis, on. Travis Scott is, first off, he got shut you down. You know, they got Kardashian babies. So they, they, yeah, they, his power's not that crazy. He got shut down by Egypt. They say he can't perform in front of the uh, pyramids. Why? Because he was going to do a devil, uh, uh, like a, a demon theme kind of concert and they said they don't want the kind of negative energy energy is real I know you I don't know. believe in it but no, energy I know is a real bro. thing no I understand that energy is real yeah you say that Egypt. that's why you always writing the sages around you if you feel a nigga with a bad vibe you want to get away from them just get it away yeah <laughs> or give me cancer with all that negative energy yeah so what is it about negative energy that you don't like you know what I mean because you always you always preach the uh the positive air of energy being... Would you like if somebody came around you with the corona? No. That's negative energy. That's, no, just... <laughs> it's, it's contagious. There's something that's contagious and it's going to make you feel bad. Okay, so negative energy... Negative energy is the it's, same Oh, you thing. said negative energy... When somebody comes around you, you, you... You ride. When you come in a room with negative energy, you fucking my energy up. Yeah. Like, now, I leave and I, I have fucked up energy and I'm... K- k- Contra- I've contracted it from you, and then I pass it to the next person when I was just feeling good. Yeah, that's a fact. So that's why you want. That's why you like the rubber yeah. stages. I want it. I don't want to get sick. <laughs> that's a fact. That's crazy. So, all right. So that's what I'm saying. So why, what you saying that the people in Rome wouldn't let him perform in front of the pyramids because they said that he's negative energy, demonic energy. Why those people in Rome are on like straight positive? They, air? they still believe in their religion, unlike America. That's letting. I'm not getting into. Not it. get into it. Nah, now just... after Saint Paul came up here, 
it, it, you know, that energy is in the air. You know, this is America. We celebrate Christmas. You know, all these Catholic holidays yeah. like St. Patrick's Day and all yeah. this other stuff. You know, religion, that, that stuff used to mean something. And... Yeah, yeah, I don't want to get into it. I'm just saying that there's... I don't see the Catholics standing up the way their opposition is standing up. No, that's the opposite is standing up for, for their beliefs, and I don't see the Catholic Church standing up for their beliefs. Yeah. Yeah, I feel you. That's why a lot of people converting to Muslims, because they're not playing none of that shit. That, you know you, what you, what mean? So you say you've seen a lot of people converting to Muslims. Because Catholic people was like, what kind of religion is this? Is When it's time for you to stand up for what we believe in, you guys ain't there. Yeah, that's a fact. Yeah. Yo, Tone. Here's another thing I wanted to ask you about. So the guy on the page, I put it on there, um, on Instagram. Shout out to everybody that was on that Alabama boat ride. Who's this guy right here, Tone? I, 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 you I, see I, the Alabama boat ride that's been going viral all over? Yes. I was actually um, posting something last night on that. Um, I got the dude that got beat up face. You saw that? If it was real. I, I don't know if that was real, but if it was. You saw that? Yeah, with the black eyes. And yeah. The... So... You think it's fake or it's real? I didn't. I don't. I don't know if that was officially one of the guys, but I did see the video. Yeah, cause um, I didn't see that guy out there at all. That's why I was. I didn't know if that was real or fake. You saw know. him? No, I didn't see. I him. was looking for him in the video. I didn't see him. I didn't see him at all. So, Tom, who's this guy? Bounty Hunter BJ. Never heard. Did you see that post yesterday? No. Okay, so this nigga named Bounty Hunter BJ say he rolled with um uh I think three six mafia, one of those type of dudes. But he said that look, I'll let you I'll let you hear it. BJ. I need y'all to get in the comments, like and subscribe, and let me know who this bounty hunter BJ guy is. According to him, Tone, he's saying that in the late 90s, early 2000s, he ran into Baby and Lil Wayne, and they came to LA, and they was trying to walk around like they was bloods, and he said at that time, you had to wear the flag in the right side of the pocket. Yeah, because you remember what Snoop said. Yeah, he said these niggas came the to Snoop LA with crip. the in the left remember side. Remember what he said? Yeah, yeah. I, I keep my rag on my left side. Yeah, that's the crib side. Okay, I agree. So why on the right. did they have the flags on the left side? Because there was no internet in the early nineties, mid nineties. They didn't know. They didn't know. They just thought so. So this flag guy, Bounty Hunter BJ, is telling the truth. He said that because <laughs> of the flags in the left, he said them niggas was goofies. <laughs> that's what yeah, he's I, saying, so. Or just unaware. They, you know, like the Chicago, the, the the one thing Chicago has. Them niggas don't wear flags. The one thing Chicago has over the real Bloods and the one thing the BDs and the GDs have over the Bloods and the Crips is the internet. Yep, niggas had to learn. You had to go to jail to learn how to be a blood in the. Yes, crib. that's what I mean. Then he wasn't just let anybody could just be a blood back in yeah, the day, right? Yeah. But now you can go. You can look go on YouTube how to become a blood, <laughs> and how to rep, represent bloods or represent they start their own blood sets, so, right? Yeah. You, there's no have to go to have to go to jail through California to start your own blood set. Yeah, remember, the, remember the back in the day you had to go to Cali get jumped and all that. No, you had to go to jail in Cali. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. That's different. So a lot of these niggas couldn't do none of that work. Nah. These niggas is logging into Facebook, starting an account, and then becoming gang gang. 
That's crazy. Yeah. So Tone, another thing, this guy, they keep they won't let him they won't let him and down. I'm not saying just because you ain't been through Cali yet, you ain't real in the streets. I'm just trying to say back in the days, if you wanted to be considered down, you had to go to the to 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 the it was like back in the days. If you wanted to become a baller, you had to event one you had to spend one game <laughs> in the rucker. Bruh. You had to play one game in the rucker. You had to play at least one, right? At least one. A lot of niggas that's what I said. That's why I said niggas can't front on us, Tone. They know we was outside. And this wasn't up to no, like no playing 9, 10 U. Niggas saw me at UDC and Rucker playing 18 and under, 17 under. We just stopped playing because we got record deals. Fast word. We just stopped playing ball because we got, we got deals. But let's get off that. Um, Tone, the internet won't let this guy live. Who? The guy Little J from Chicago. Who's Little J? That's the guy who, uh, I think he's, I don't know what set he's down with, if he's down with uh, um, FBG, or is oh, he you know, uh, uh, BMG, uh, FBG, the nigga signed to, he's d- down with FBG and signed a little Dirk? Little J? Yeah. Yeah, they say with the jail had Trenny sitting on his lap and all that. Oh, no, not that They nigga. won't let him live, Tone. Yeah. It, it, it won't, they won't let it die. Chicago's playing real walkie right now. They're playing real walkie. The way they're releasing all this jail footage, like when King Vaughn, where every time he got into a fight, Yo, Tom, I saw a blog the other day on YouTube. I can't even know the name of it. Maybe I'll we'll search it after the, uh, this morning. We'll go in there and look for it. Maybe if we have time. But Wait, there's a bizarre? nah. I got, I got that. Now, there's a there's some there's a there's a dude out there that got a blog, and on July fourth, <laughs> twenty nine niggas died in Chicago. That's crazy. Why? Because you can't tell what's a gunshot or not? I don't know. Them niggas is... Yo, them niggas is crazy. I don't know if it's in the water, the music. I don't know. They 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 got them niggas programmed different out there in Chicago. Now, I also saw another... You seen that footage in Chicago where the niggas was... Little kids was playing basketball and it was like 20 niggas in the corner like just with straps while the, the future is playing basketball on the court? Yeah, it's crazy. You see that footage? Uh uh-uh. uh. Nah, it's crazy. I'll show you later. Yeah, but Tom, but another thing is too, they have uh, um, I think it was the shade room or one of them, but they had a recording from a cop. I don't know if you ever heard this, right? And I don't know how the fuck they got this. So in the shade room and all of them. I don't know how they got this, Tom. I, I it might no, it was TMZ that had it. You know what the cop said? They had them on the uh, walkie talkie. You know what the cop said? What? These guys, the, the girl said, these guys are shooting again. I'm not going over there, right? And the guy said, yeah, me neither. Let's just wait till it died down. Then we'll go. Yeah, dude. Don't, don't, niggas, cops is... Think about it, Tony. This, this is... This is you, it makes sense. You, you need the military cops. for these niggas. You don't need the cops. The cops is for, like, when there's the a theft in, in Target. Niggas. And some niggas fighting Target. You do need the military. They got bazookas and all that, right? Yeah, these niggas ain't... And these niggas ain't scared of the cops no more. Because they know... They know... They know... It, yo. That word drill is a real thing, man. They, yeah. They know the drill. They know as long as they shooting, the cops ain't coming. That's a fact. So I forgot that saying. What that nigga say? The, Shoot out, stay low, and keep firing. Yeah, <laughs> yo, these that's all these niggas like. As long as we firing, the cops ain't coming. The yeah. cops come two minutes after I the heard last. My own ears, Tony. That shit was nasty work, Tony. That was crazy. Yo, the world's crazy, my nigga. That's crazy. If you think it's the Leave It to Beaver and My Three Sons and Mr. Red Days, it's over. It's over. Over. <laughs> over. All the people yeah. with the nice houses are criminals. Yeah. They're not no hard work in those houses is million dollars plus. None of these people is two teachers, a wife and a husband working two good jobs, paying for no million dollar house. That's a criminal. That's or a Bitcoin scam. That's... Or do, doing fraud. Or doing whatever it takes, selling the uh, the uh, 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 legal narcotics. Regardless, they have. Yeah. Okay, let me ask you something, Tone. What's worse, Kodak Black doing the song with Six Nine, or Lil Wayne doing the um the the ESPN theme song for Skip Bayless's new show? What's uh, worse? What's worse? Let's keep it real. What's worse? That's a good question. I mean. 
the job of a check, the way you get a check, yeah, is when the check writer feels they're on their way out or they want their way up. So you feel like Skip Bayless got Skip Bayless had to he's <laughs> he, to, he had to go get Wayne to get the black I, back yeah, there, right? He probably the tried black to, was off him. He probably tried to get Drake and couldn't. Mm-hmm. So he got Wayne. Well, if you could get there's no stop that tone. If don't don't ever think that you could get little Wayne before Drake. Shay, you know why he got you know he why he got you can get Drake before you get Little Wayne. You can get Little Wayne before you get Drake. I don't know, man. It's all about if Little Wayne wants to do it. You can't. There's you no money remember. he needs. Isn't Drake still signed to Little Wayne? It's not. It's not that. It's. That's the check they both needed. Because you don't see Lil Wayne doing too much. Even though he's performing all over the world. I don't think he needs the check. But No, but he's eating off Nicki. I, okay, I know, but I'm just trying to say... Nikki right now wouldn't probably Shout do out to Corey either. Guns, Young Money. Corey Guns probably wouldn't do it. Now Corey Guns probably would have did it. Of course. But he got Lil Wayne, and that's that's <laughs> that's good for both them niggas. But Skip Bayless, you know Now he's a goofy Skip Bayless song. Jay, I'm sorry. The, the, the I hood's not feeling him. The hood's not even feeling what's his name? Stephen A. Either. <laughs> they not. Cam yeah. and Mace took that whole market. <laughs> They need to be on ESPN, you say. They don't even need ESPN. Niggas is, when it comes to sports, yo, honestly, I, I'm going to keep it real, Shay. And I'm, I'm, I'm going to say this as a, I'm a fan of that show. Yeah. I hate watching Skip Bayless and Stephen A. Smith. Mm -hmm. Talk that talk. But keep it, like, corporate. You know what I'm saying? I'm, mm -hmm. Sports is dirty talk. Sports is like, uh, they, I don't know what microphones they be having on the court, but they, they don't let you really hear how much trash is being talked in these sports. Basketball, football, baseball, they are really talking trash. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Baseball niggas is knocking niggas the fuck out at second base. Uh, you, you seen that? Ramirez? Uh-huh. You got knocked out. That's crazy. Ramirez knocked that nigga out at second base. I know. So, I'm just saying right now. Sports is... Sports is Shay, when you was playing sports, was you yes sir, no sir? Was you like motherfucker? I'm trying to bust your ass. Yeah. You just, you, sports is that's why rapid sports. So you saying back in the day that knockout punch that never happened? No, I'm just saying yeah, sports. Back in the day, baseball. Sports and rap is they almost like hand in hand. It's like you gotta fight to stay on top in sports, and you gotta fight to stay on top in hip hop. Yeah, you're right. There's no like in between. Know, Kumbaya, we all can get along. Yeah. It's like, yo, during the season, we all trying to get that number one spot. Fact. Same thing with hip-hop. Yeah. And that's why I think Cam and Mace have taken over that sports world. Because they're, they're keeping it real. They're not being friendly. Now they are. They're not talking from a... a, a you know, Skip, Skip Bayless and Stephen A., they talk what the corporate people probably are debating about. Yeah. But that's not the fans of sports. Now that's true. You know what I'm saying? Now that's a fact. Yeah. So shout out to Cam and Mace. I, I watch their show. Their show is funny. They 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 make me laugh. They're hilarious. Listen, I've always loved Cam and Mace from day one. They I ain't gonna lie, those niggas, I would have to say those niggas are the niggas that like <laughs> like like created the swag for a lot of niggas. Definitely for us. Yeah, we was we, we grew up with them. You know what I mean? They're older than us. We watched them. Niggas was fire, my nigga. Let's keep it real. I see niggas on the Instagram post say, oh shit, Cam was fire. You know what I mean? I saw an old 357 Magnum video floating around. They said, oh shit, Cam was fire. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's what you thought. Cam and Mace is definitely in the top five of people who have influenced hip hop. Of course. Just the whole look. The whole look. Gotta give Fork it to them. everything. Yeah, facts. 100%. So, Tone, um, Sexy Red grossed out a lot of her fans with the shit she said this weekend. Where was she? she well, she said on Instagram. Okay, what'd she say? She said that, um, uh, well, let me read it. It says... I love it already. I heard... I love it already. He says, I heard you want a stud. And she said, I got the STD that you need. Yo, there was some other Jamaican <laughs> song talking about girls said my pussy's dripping STDs. Yeah, I know. You seen that shit? Yeah, I told Yo, what's up with this? I know. What's up with that? 
point me to those sluts, I don't want to fuck. <laughs> so, are these dudes beating these chicks? Yo. <laughs> I mean, old dirty bastards said got burned once, but that was only gonorrhea. So I yeah. guess these chicks are trying to take it there, too. Yeah. Right. You know what I'm saying? They're trying to take it there, right? So, I don't want to hear no chicks saying I got burned once, but it was only gonorrhea. Nah, that's that shit they talking right now. They telling niggas shit up. Yeah, I got, I got, you know, I got a little STD, but what you want to do? That's they whack, that's they swag right now. So I think they trying to tell niggas like, don't even ask me for none. I'm telling you, I got an STD. So it's like maybe they don't want to give nobody none. I'm leaving right where you stand. Nah, I don't want to dance <laughs> <laughs> with the J line. That's crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, I'm dying to see who that guy is that, that that was saying, that was talking that shit about um, Birdman and Little Wayne. That's crazy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, what's going on? I haven't heard too much about Christine Rock and Blueface. They broke up, right? Yeah, she cut off. She's done off. So, what? She's, she's, is, is she done right now? It's over for her? I, I haven't heard too much from her. I think she's falling off, Tone. Blueface right now is recording his second his next season with the other chick. No, he not. Yeah. Oh, so Blueface is already in the reality world. He's done with. Yeah, he's moved, he moved on to the next season. <laughs> he moved on to the next season. That bitch is last season. Wow. So what, she just got to keep the baby and got paid child support? She better hope she wasn't making too much money because she ain't going to get none. You lying, Tone. She was making her own money. No, I know, but you saying that they're not gonna um <laughs> they're not gonna grant her no no child support? Oh, he gotta pay, but as far as for the, the litness, it's like forgetting right now. Niggas is forgetting about her. Yeah. That's crazy. Cause she gonna, the only thing she can do is sober up and, and, and have a better life. Niggas is tired of her just being drunk. <laughs> That's a fact, right? She can't even get drunk right. She's pregnant. Once she gives birth, it's always something, probably right? going to be breastfeeding. She's going to be... We can't see her get drunk. So she's really... Uh, the character is over. You know, he killed the character. It's always something, man. It's always something. Yeah, so Tone, let's keep it real. And... and, and this is a fact. Your man, I can't front you broke that record too. Oh yeah, before we get to the last thing, before we get out of here. M dot show. M dot, we didn't talk about M dot. We gotta talk about M dot for a second. Okay, now M dot Porter. Shout out to my nigga M dot Porter. Alright, so it's hilarious. You know, you DM these artists, they act Hollywood, they leave you on scene. The ones that work, the ones that don't work. Now I can promise this that. Um it's, it's just bottom line. You have a good song, it happens for you. So the guys who think, oh, this was a waste of time at doing this or whatever, if you felt that way or you felt that we were a waste of time, what about the guys that are winning and getting on the radio, their streams are going up to the roof? What did M. Porter tell you? His streams is up? Everything is up. Everything is up right now, right? This wasn't even a single. Okay. This nigga did this because we was playing it. Okay, Scarlett. What? What? what she got a eight hundred thousand dollar deal. I mean, she just same, performed at the Grammys. Same, she same just performed at the Grammys. Here. Shea Baby TV straight to one hundred five point one. Streams up, career going up. Right or wrong, Tone? So how yeah. dare you, artists that capped on your man Shea Baby, have the nerve to do that? That shit gets to me, especially the ones that don't come on and I see them. All they doing is taking pictures. That shit get to me, Tone. You all these fake ass artists out here, bro. There's some real artists, and then there's artists signed to IG. Yeah, this is a fake IG artist, bro. That shit is sad. How you shelved on IG? You just want to take pictures. How you shelved on IG? <laughs> you an amb- you a That's marketing ambassador. Talk. You That's ain't no artist, talk. right, Tone? Can you even get shelved these days? No, but these niggas don't even have deals. That's you can the put thing that makes me mad. No, but they didn't have no. They don't have no record deals. Scarlet and um, M. Dot Porter. You know, you know who you, you know. I would love to hear Scarlet on the remix of fucking <laughs> Dyke 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 Familiar. Mm. Oh my god, yo. Okay, what should who should he before we get to the last thing? Who should he put on that remix song? You know who I was. You, you, you really, you really want to hear my opinion? Yeah, I'm a Fat Joe. 
Yeah. Fat fucking Joe. Fat Joe would love to do it too. Or how about Tego got thrown? Mm. How about Tego got thrown? Because you know he's the only... He'll give you that. He will rap in English. Yeah. You know that. Lean back. Lean back. Lean back, lean back, right? <laughs> yeah. I get Dago. I feel you. I feel you. I get Dago got thrown if I was him. And he's more accessible right now. Give mm. me Dago. Tell him the name of the song is Dykeman or Vermilion, my nigga. Fat Joe, we loved out there. His store's yes. right there in that corner. Oh, yeah. His store's right. right there at that corner. So he's a, he's in Dykeman? Fat Joe? Yeah. His store's right there. Where, by the barbershop? Right, right by the barbershop. Maybe over the bridge? Over the bridge. Why? Well, I thought he was on the other side of Fordham. He got another one over Oh, Fordham. shout out to Fat Joe. That's a fact. 100%. Yeah, I'm going to Google that shit. Up NYC is on, uh, it's, 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 it's on Broadway. I ain't got a lot, Tom. We I got put, We putting Fat Joe on the list. For what? Fat Joe's getting to sit down. We got to sit down with, with, with Joe Crack. What you yeah. think, Tom? Even if we got to go, go to him. Yeah, we got to sit down with Fat Joe, man. You know who else? DNY. Of course, they're already on the list. That's going to happen. Definitely got to do that. You know what I mean? You know who else? Chachi. Of course. So you know, but, the engineer from yeah, DMX. Yeah, but it's time for us to build the platy up. Now we got to get outside and set everything up. <laughs> you know, we, 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 one thing about us, like I told niggas on the five episodes before, we're like them niggas that put out mixtapes and, and go through YouTube and buzz. All these niggas is spending money for interviews, bro. Yeah. Let's keep it real, Tone. Our recoup is mad low. We, yeah, we, we built ourselves up first. I, I think we recouped already. We built our plat. We built us up first. Yeah. Just let niggas know who we know. Just... Yeah, we built us up first, and, and the there's ones, mad people we didn't one, know. Just they, they, they felt the, they felt the vibe. Yeah, and the ones that did rock with us, they are benefiting off it. They are getting in the reels, they are getting nice, good product, and some of them are hitting the radio, and we're on the radio. So a lot of them are getting played by us on the radio, which we'll be back this weekend, I think. Right? Definitely, yeah. Shout, yeah, we shout back out to illegal. Weekend. That's a fact. NCL. Yeah, that's a fact. All right, man. Well, oh, last thing before we get out of here, your man. Might just run up on him for the third time. Yeah, my nigga Plies. Might just run up on him for the third time. Okay, he says he wish he was out there in Alabama. He said he would have been throwing haymakers. I would have been, been too, man. Yeah. And I'm not racist. Yeah, I'm it's, not just, racist. it's just, it's just the, the, the nerve. Yeah. It's obvious what happened. Well, well. Tell you, the nigga ain't going. He didn't even run up on him on no beef shit. He just pulled the Chris, got loud with the <laughs> screaming, and that's why you said all that shit. People getting scared, right? I, I, yo, I, I I hate to say it, I don't think in the beginning it was racist. No, they're not saying it was racist. I think it was what? Then, then no, nah, it was racist. You know, you know why? All those motherfuckers in the small boat didn't have any black friends. You go on a boat ride, you don't have one black friend you want to invite. You saw the nigga swimming? That nigga he, was 16 years, he was 16. And, and he came up swinging haymakers, right? First, he dried himself off. So, that's crazy. All right. Who you think, who you, who you think stole it the most out of all these people? Ready? The lady that threw the, the nigga that threw the lady in the water. The lady that threw the lady in the water. The nigga that was hitting people with the chairs. The nigga that threw the hat in the air, <laughs> Bobby Schmurda. You see me trying to run off and he fell? Yeah. <laughs> or, or, out of them. Out of them? Who came off the most on the gram? Who came off the most on the gram? Yeah. I got to say the dude who threw the hat in the air tried to charge them and fell. Well, not the he nigga with the, the chair? No, he was the goat. The nigga, the, the, the you first guy who came the first time. Did you see? Did you see the post where it said, "Just to let everybody know, the fold-up chair was invented by a black guy." Did you see that post? <laughs> oh, nasty work! Yo, That's but the there's some. There's something. So you say you like that? You thought you? There's something bigger t- to that story, was, my nigga. Yeah, I know. You don't understand. It's like they wanted to show us something, right? They, yo, niggas just don't. Like we're understand. separated. Don't no, believe nah, we're not. Nah, right? Nah, Keep it real. That and don't believe we're not. On the positive note. 
for every one nigga, if we just supported them, they couldn't fuck with us. If for every one nigga they trying to fuck with, if we just supported them, they couldn't fuck with us. So you saying if, if, if we just said fuck it, we want to we gonna take over America? There's nothing they can do. There's nothing they can do. I know. For every one it's nigga, too they many, try to, it's too many. It's too many hood gangs. We can literally yeah. dead ass. We can literally. They got rid of armies. We can free everybody from jail if we really wanted to. Yes. If we really wanted to. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? No, but they had an army with the. But you know we don't got missiles. The niggas are ass out on. We might lose the battle, you know what I mean? but we gonna win real. the war. They don't have Imagine enough bullets. They just drop a they're, fucking they're, atomic bomb in Harlem. You think, boom, like, you think there's out. eight billion bullets? Yes. There's not enough bullets to kill us all. Yes, there is. No, they they have the button. They just throw the, They just throw them in a little bunker. The army knows for every one civilian they kill, they are gonna raise a thousand soldiers. Is it for real? Imagine if the military killed you, Shay. Now you're right. These niggas are scared of us. We just don't know it. Yeah. I need my own conspiracy show, man. <laughs> or the Shay Baby Network. Yeah, we, uh, we, we should. We should hook up the the the, the phone line. And let these people call in. You probably do your thing too on there, so you be playing. That's a fact. Your man David St. John to come up, pull up on you. He was, you needed to be here for that interview Saturday. Go check it out on YouTube. Check out the um, the David St. John um, interview. And definitely check out All Ball. We talking that sports. I'm up out of here, man. Tone, you got anything to say before we get out of here? You smoking that Cali Heights again? Cali Heights, we coming to see you. This yeah, is the last one. No, it's, it's us. It's us. He's, he's waiting on us. <laughs> Let's go see him now. Cali Heights is serious. Yeah, we could. It's not. It's 9.30 in the morning. This is the last one. Right? It's either... Sponsor or we are Cali we Heights, on, we on our way. We go we we coming down. All right, man, it's your man Shea Baby. So baby. we'll see them tomorrow and we'll be back on Friday because you know we uh when we on the radio cheer Thursday. Oh hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Before we get out of here, before we get out of here. Persium! <laughs> Shout out to LV. Shout out to you, LV. LV will be back next week too. Yeah, just, so, I, I don't want to end off the show without doing it. The team will be back and we're gonna have a different look too, because he's gonna have his studio up there, so some days. We're going to go up there twice a week. You know, we're going to get the can- uh, the, the mics for out there. We're going to have a couch set up. And we're going to have two setups. You know what I mean? I think we're going to do the sit-downs up there. That's love. You know what I mean? Love. Yeah. All right, y'all. Shit, man. Shit, baby. I'll see y'all tomorrow morning. Same time, same place. Goofies.